Catsall is a village in Worcestershire, about 2.5 miles north of Bromsgrove and 10 miles southwest of Birmingham. That got its name due to the habitat being the home of wildcats and being situated on a hill. Catsall is most famous for nail making. This was a cottage industry and in 1750 the Bromsgrove area employed about a thousand nailers and Catsall was very much a centre of this trade. Catsall was also home of famous poet Alfred Edward Houseman, also known as A&E Houseman. Houseman was an English classical poet best known to the public for his series and cycle of poems and trash for a lad. Catsall is also known for being a part of the escape route for the gunpowder plot of 1605 as a failed assassination attempt against King James I of England by a group of official English Catholics led by Robert Casby and the famous Guy Fawkes. just sick and tired of all of this hard work. It's just all of this now making. I'm just sick and tired of it. Why am I only getting seven shillings a week? Anyone that can try this, it's so hard. <sighs> Looks like we're not eating a lot tonight. Just again, stale bread and water. Weak. It's just stupid. <sighs> oh, didn't see you there. Well, now that you're already here, let's just let me just tell you about all of the now making around Katsu. I don't like to moan, to be honest. I'm very proud of being able to make nails and that I have passed the skills to my family. It is hard though my wife and three children living in such a small cottage. There is no money to be had. The nail master takes it all. My family cannot remember the taste of meat. All we get is bread. The nail master is so rich and we are so poor. I have to do all the work but get nothing in return. Before the strikes, I could not sell the nails quick enough, but now there is machinery. Making them cheaper and quicker, there is not much business for my trade. There used to be 2,500 nail makers, and now I am just one of 200. I hope you have understood about what it's like as a nail maker in the 1800s. So, I haven't earned a lot of shillings today, but I've worked quite hard and I'm quite proud of that. So tonight, as a treat, I'm going to go to the Nailer Arms pub with my nail maker friends. Goodbye. Born on 26th of March 1859, A.E. Houseman was an English classical scholar and poet that is best known for his series and cycle of poems at Shropshire Lad. These poems were a depth description of the doomed life as a youth in the English countryside. His work appealed strongly to the taste of the late Victorians and the Edwardians, to the many of the 20th century English composers. When I was 1 and 20, I heard a wise man say, Give crowns, pounds and guineas, but not your heart away. Give pearls away and rubies, and keep your fancy free. But when I, but I was one in twenty, no use to talk to me. When I was one in twenty, I heard him say again, A heart out of bosom was never given in vain. This pay is always a plenty, and a soul endless rue. I am two and twenty, oh, this true is true. Houseman was considered one of the foremost classic 
of his time and had been ranked as one of the greatest scholars of all time. Is my girl happy that I fought hard to leave and is she tired of weeping as she lies down at eve? Oh, she lies down lightly, she lies not down to weep. Your girl is well contented. Sadly, Amy Hasman passed away on the 30th of April 1936, aged 77. His work provided text for a significant number of British composers in the first half of the 20th century and many titles for novels and films have been drawn from Hasman's poetry. Crime We're live here for the next hour with many cases you can help us solve. The one we need most help about is the infamous gunpowder plot. The hunt is designed to find and capture the remaining members of the gang. The plot was a failed assassination against our Prime Minister. The plan was to blow up down the street with gunpowder that had been hidden in a cellar beneath the building a few weeks before and then escaped by bike. The police have the main conspirator, Dave Fawkes in custody, but the rest of the ringleaders are still at large as they rode a, ho a hole 80 miles into the West Midlands area. Our sources tell us they were heading towards Wolverhampton, going through Burkhart, Licky End, Catsill, Hagley, Clint and Stourbridge. We think there is someone watching today who knows information about this. Just please get in touch with the number 0800 400 900. These pictures are, of these men are now on our website. They are all very dangerous. If you know anything, please get in touch. After this, I think we should take this route. No, no, I think this route looks better. Oh, mm. we should travel through Burkhart, through to Licky and then Catsall, Clance and Hagley, to so Stabridge and then Wolverhampton. We can stop off at John Grant's house in Norbrook to get a few refreshments and a good night's sleep. Also we can stop off at Thomas Smart and John Hurley had a brownie. Well if this plan all goes well then we can all head our, our separate ways. How's it going? I can't really speak right now, but I'll call you back in a bit. Let's go get the tools to, and, the equi and equipment to do this job. Well, I'll stay here and finish planning the, the route and then I'll, I'll catch you up in a bit. But don't forget to get the lighter and the matches. Hey, is that Mr Cameron? Well, listen up, I ain't got much time to speak, but they're planning to blow up number 10 Downing Street on the 5th of November. But when this happens, I, I want full immunity and can't be charged for, for anything, OK? That was the reconstruction of the gunpowder plot. If you recognise any of these faces, then get in touch. Detectives think that they're hiding out in the Katzen area of Bromsgrove. If you have any information, please call us on 0800 400 900 or text 633 Text your message and crime. Thank you and good night.